Eight years after the last canal boat was piloted through the city, the Rochester Industrial and Rapid Transit Railway was opened to the public in December 1927. It was then that the Rochester subway was born. Seen as obstructing street surface traffic, the city gradually phased out all above-ground streetcars by 1940, the subway becoming a more and more important part of daily life in Rochester. Though it was never really used to its full potential, many people used the light rail system during their daily commute. The subway ran four-car trains at the height of rush hour during World War II due to gasoline and rubber rations. Running from the General Motors Rochester Products Plant southeasterly through Rochester to Rowlands, the subway was not more than 10 miles long, only two of those miles actually running through underground tunnels. It very quickly became a popular way to get around and brought new vitality to a downtown that would be suffering due to the high cost of automobile operation during wartime. By the early 1950s, plans were developed for the system of expressways around Rochester. Public outcry for subway improvements and extensions fell on deaf ears. Against public statements to the contrary, the city council voted in secret to discontinue subway passenger service. The eastern part of the subway route was chosen for a portion of Interstate 490. The last passenger run was Saturday, June 30th, 1956. The subway was never really meant to die, but few traces remain today that it ever existed. The two stations that were in the tunnel, West Main Street and City Hall, have remained hidden from the public for over 40 years, with little remaining to indicate that they were ever there. The remaining tunnels, only one of which has been filled in, are now serving as a home for a portion of the city's homeless, but are also a haven for photographers and graffiti artists alike, making the tunnels a must-see for any resident, despite being one of the city's best-kept secrets.